What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I am Cindy and today I want to highlight three tips that can help you all fall in love with the process. Have you ever had a goal that you wanted to achieve or a dream that you just really wanted but you just didn't know how to achieve it or you just felt like the process was taking so long, you were overwhelmed and you just wanted to quit? Well today I'm going to be highlighting three tips that can hopefully help you get through this journey and just fall in love with it. So if you're trying to figure this out, tune in and see how to do this. One thing that I do in order to fall in love with the process is gratitude. I am super grateful for where I am at now. For those of you who have not watched my previous video, I am going through an injury that is very difficult and you know, it took me off for quite a bit of time and I'm still going through the process of healing. However, I have learned that being grateful for the things I have is essential because I'll let you know whatever it is that you have going on or whatever you're trying to do or whatever process it is, you are still blessed with other things. So one way that I express my form of gratitude is I journal. Every single morning when I wake up, I write down the things that I'm grateful for. So if it's my right foot that I'm grateful for, I write that down, my support system, my friends, whatever it is, I write it down and I thank God for the things that I already have and I am still receiving because there are so many things to be grateful for and we all need to make sure we are just grateful for what, with what we have because you will start to see yourself fall in love with the process and just be a lot happier with everything that is going on. So that's my first tip. My second tip is patience. There is no process without being patient, you guys. It's gonna take time for us to get whatever we want. Nothing worth having happens overnight. So we need to be very patient with the process. We need to realize, okay, whatever it is I want, I have to spend time to get it. It's just not gonna happen, or at least it's not gonna happen well if you aren't patient with it. So one thing I think that we all can do to be more patient is to celebrate small victories. So what I mean by this is we need to take little things and just be happy with it. So for example, let's say you're an athlete and you're training for a triathlon and there's obviously three components to a triathlon, but you see yourself improving in one. So let's say you're, you're biking and you see your mileage improving and a lot of things are coming together and you know that you have other things to focus on, but you know that this one part is really doing well. You celebrate that, you become happy with it, you are just blessed to know that you are improving in that one aspect. So celebrating small victories will allow you to appreciate the process a lot more and allow you to just be a more positive person with a positive mindset when you're going through whatever you're trying to achieve. So that's just another way that I think can really help us incorporate patience into whatever process we are trying to go through. And this leads me into my last tip, which is diligence. So you need to be very diligent with whatever it is you are currently at or whatever it is you are doing. So I personally would have never achieved half of the things that I have. So whether it was my national championship in college or being an Olympic finalist or becoming um, an educator, anything that I have achieved, I had to work extremely hard with the little parts of it in order to receive that thing. So we need to be diligent with little because it's going to allow us to be promoted to the higher parts. If you can't do small things, the things you might not necessarily like, you're not going to do better with the higher things you may want. So let's just make sure we're all being very diligent with whatever we have. So if you want to be a CEO, a manager, you want to be anything higher than where you're at, a higher paying job, be diligent with a lower paying job. Work extremely hard because if you have that worker's mentality, I promise you things will start to work in your favor and you will see yourself getting higher and higher until you reach that goal one day. So making sure we're very diligent is essential with falling in love with the process. So these are just three tips that I use personally to fall in love with the process. I know that there are not the only three tips in the world. So if you have any other ideas or you know of other things people use in order to fall in love with the process, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys and see. Um, but thanks again for listening to this video. I promise you, if you start applying these different things to your life, you will at least see some progress and your success will eventually come if you are just very patient and use these things. So thanks again. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you also are subscribed to my channel so that you can see the exciting videos I will be posting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.